Hey, Julian. Hi. Are you ready for dinner? What? Tell everybody you're ready for dinner. I want a butter. You're ready for dinner? Well, we're going to serve you some dinner, okay? Okay. Which camera? This one? This one? Oh, this one, okay. Hey guys, this is Sebastian. We're gonna be cooking some one inch T-bone steaks, some short ribs, just got off of work. The family's hungry. Let's get to cooking. We've got some good stuff going on here on top of our T-bone steaks. You hear the baby back there? Yeah, he's getting it. Okay, so first off, we're gonna be throwing our short ribs on the grill. We're gonna get a nice sear on those. Those will take a little longer than the steaks to cook, but we're gonna go ahead and season the side that's not down to the heat. Here we go. Levi? By the way, that's the uh, Uncle Chris gourmet seasoning we got there that we put on the short ribs. We're just gonna sear them. Nice and hot right there. That's what I like to see in grilling is those grill marks, the fire going. That's gonna be some good short ribs there. These are gonna need a lot of help. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, <clears throat> while they're cooking, they're searing, I'm gonna add a lime because those short ribs need some help. They're not a good cut of meat. But I'm gonna go ahead and put some lime on them. And season that side, because I seasoned the side that's down now. And we'll move, or move them around so they don't get burnt. Put some lime on the other side. Mix it all up. And we'll leave that for another 30 seconds or a minute. We just want to get a good sear, good smoke flavor, good fire flavor on those. And we'll put them to the cooler side of the grill here in a, about a minute. So. We'll come back once they're seared and on the cool side of the grill. Okay, now for our mushrooms and our onions, we're gonna add a tidbit of olive oil. We're gonna throw half of a large white onion in. I'd say maybe about a half a pound of white mushroom. We're going to salt and pepper this to taste. If I had to guess, I would say about a tablespoon and a half of salt and pepper. And we will incorporate these ingredients.
Okay, we're gonna let that go for about a minute. We'll add about a tablespoon and a half of butter. That olive oil will help that butter from smoking or burning. Then this is the secret sauce here that makes these uh, onions and mushrooms the best. This elevates the flavor. It is Worcestershire sauce, just a touch. And we'll add maybe just a squeeze of lime. And we'll let that caramelize, let the onions break down, let the mushrooms break down, let all those flavors incorporate, and we'll come back to cook and salt and season our T-bone steaks. So here we got our T-bone steaks. We ha it's very important to make sure they uh, come up to ambient temperature. That way when you throw them on the grill, they get a more even cook. But we are gonna go ahead and salt these. These are the main event of the dinner. So you wanna make sure and be liberal to salt. And pepper each side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pat the seasoning into the meat. That way as it cooks, it doesn't just fall off. It's kind of dug into the meat. We'll flip it around. And season liberally on the other side. Pepper. This is work here, I'll tell you. You feel my forearms growing as you speak. Tearing all those muscles. Anyways, here we go. We're gonna push this seasoning inside of this meat. And you see all this stuff here. We're not gonna let that go to waste. We're gonna go ahead and sop it up with the side. That way no seasoning goes to waste. And it's important to season the sides of your steak. And there you go, they're ready for the grill. We're gonna finish off those short ribs. They should be done shortly. These are the last things to go because they sear five minutes, six minutes each side. And we'll go from there. Okay, here we go, laying on the one inch T-bones. We're gonna go ahead and let that sear for about five minutes. I like mine about medium rare. So mine will be like four to five minutes each side. On my wife, she likes hers a little more cooked. What I'll do is I'll cook it, sear it, probably about six minutes each side, and then wrap it in some foil and let it rest in the foil. That way it cooks a little more. Um, mine, I won't do that. I'll just uh, sear four to five minutes on each side, let it rest in the ambient air, and uh, maybe pour some you know, butter on it and uh, let that rest. But my wife will have to let cook in some foil just so it cooks a little more. The kids will eat these short ribs here. Those are probably their, little, their favorite. We'll add a little bit of lime just to help the flavor move along. And a little more of our seasoning. All righty then, we'll come back once we flip these steaks, sear the other side, and we'll serve up a plate. Everything caramelized there. Look at that goodness here. All right, our steaks are done. Let's go ahead and put them 
on the cutting board. That right there is a whole lot of deliciousness. Everybody's gonna be happy to eat this tonight. We'll let everything rest for about five minutes. And it's dinner time here in a little bit. All right, Jill, are you ready? Yes. Here we go. You want some beef short ribs? Mm. Look at that. You want some salad? We all know Jill loves some, some salad. How would you rate Daddy's food from a 1 to a 10? 10 being the highest. Um, I'll give it 10. 